What's up, YouTube? I'm here to show you some of the cool apps for the Mac. And uh, one of my subscribers wanted me to put this up. Uh, I forgot his name right now, but yeah. So I'm going to show you some of the apps for the Mac that I think are really cool and they, you know, they really helped me a lot. The first one is uh, Handbrake. And what a Handbrake is, is just uh, you can get any DVD and rip it. So you can make your you can make your own DVD and shit. So if you have like uh, any movie, just put it in Handbrake, and uh, it's gonna download it and put it on your computer. So you can do whatever you want with it, and you can make another copy of it. If you want to use it for illegal purposes, that's your business, not mine. But you know. Then we got uh, Frostwire, and what Frostwire is to down is uh, an application to download songs and. Uh, just about anything, pictures. I mostly use it for songs. Not illegal songs, but you know, songs that you can download for free. Then I got uh, hand, uh, Transmission. And what Transmission is, is to uh, download torrents of the internet. So, you know, with Transmission, you can download a lot of apps, games, just about anything you want. You can also download albums, but you know, that's what you got a Frost Wire for. Another really good one is. Uh, KC and screw and what this does says you download an app, an app but you downloaded the demo like Microsoft Word you download the demo for this and then you can go into uh, this application and it tells you the serial numbers for pretty much anything so I don't know you can go to Photoshop and it's gonna tell you it's gonna tell you a serial number for Photoshop and you know you got Microsoft Office too, it's gonna tell you for that thing too. And it's really good, it's helped me a lot. Um, another application is uh, ScreenFlow, and that's what I'm using right now to record this. It's really good. Another good application is this thing right here. It's called uh, Caffeine, and what it does is that it doesn't allow your computer to go to sleep. So say you're watching a YouTube video for anything, and the screen goes dark, so you gotta move the mouse to turn it back on. Well, with this thing, you don't have to do that. It's never gonna go dark unless you turn it off like that. And that's how you know if it's on and off. It's really cool. Um, next, we got uh, this thing, App Zapper. And what this does is, say you download, got a message. Say you downloaded um, any app and you don't want it anymore. Well, if you just delete it some of its uh, contents can still be on the computer and it's gonna stay there forever and you're gonna you're not gonna know about it with this if you put any application in this it's gonna download every uh, every content of the application that you don't know about anything related to the application is gonna delete it and um, you can pick whatever you want this is not a free version you gotta pay like twelve dollars for it but if you download um, this thing It'll give you the serial code for it, so it's pretty much free. I didn't do that. I, I bought it, so this is all for entertainment purposes. And last but not least is a really good uh, app. Which is called, it's right over here. And it's uh, Xlimmer. And what this does is that, all the say an app, uh, say an app is like 300Ks or whatever. You put it in here, and it's gonna slim it down to, you know, it's gonna slim it down pretty good to maybe like 50 kilobytes or whatever. So if you get all of them, you just get anything in here, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just put it in here, and it's gonna slim it down for you. I can't do it because I already did it. The first time I did it, it slimmed it down for about, uh, all my applications slimmed down about 7 gigabytes, so that was really cool. And that's my last application. Thanks for watching, and subscribe. And that's right. All the links are on the side. So I'll see you guys later.